Hello guys, today we're going to talk about escapism and I think this is a problem that people nowadays face more than they, they've done in the past because you know now we have all of this media, the internet, um, I don't know, books, board games, a, a lot of stuff. Of course we had books in the past but you know, a lot of these outside influences that kind of seduces us to escape reality. And essentially, that's what it is. You know, you indulge in a fantasy uh, that is not reality, pretty much. And let me tell you a story of how first escapism um, appeared in my, in my life. And that was probably with video games and... Uh, pornography and masturbation you you guys already know you know no fap i'm all i'm all for that and i think pornography and masturbation was like the main thing that i used to escape from you know i disagree with my parents we had a little fight um somebody makes fun of me at school i don't want to do my homework you know porn was always that thing that kind of dragged me in to escape the reality escape some of the loneliness and just it sucked you know esca escapism sucks because at, at, it's like really seducing at first it's kind of drags you in and it feels good you know it's like an addiction then you go into it you be there for a little while you forget about the reality everything feels good and then when you have to go out eventually out of that fantasy into the real world again it kind of just hits you more so it's, it's not a good thing to have. I mean, you know, escapism nowadays, as I said, it's probably much more difficult to deal with, especially, you know, we have smartphones now, we have computers, we have access pretty much anywhere for entertainment and all of this just fantasy to just indulge ourselves in. And for example, you know, there's nothing wrong with with playing video games, let's say watching a movie, TV show, I don't know, eating a pizza, playing board games. There's nothing wrong to just kind of enjoy art and kind of go out of the reality for a bit into that leisure activity entertainment, you know, as long as it is done with balance. I think that is the key word here, balance. You know, if you... At first, of course, you have to prioritize your work, your main purpose, and then in your rest period, you have to also, you know, enjoy these activities. And that is how the balance is created there. And maybe it's not a, an exact balance because, well, it is the work is the priority. But of course, if you overwork, if you just work and work and work and work with no breaks, some people can do it, most people can't. And the rest of us, the majority, have to find some ways to relax. And that is usually just by watching a movie or playing a video game or something like that. And that is okay. But when you, when there's are like problems in your life, when something presents in your life in need of repair, as Jordan Pearson would say, then escaping from that is the wrong move it's the wrong thing to do so you know this is how like how why young men are really weak nowadays is because they have all this access to escape Let, let's talk about video games for a bit so as i said you know that's that was one of the escapism activities i've did in the past and looking back at it you know it wasn't an addiction it was kind of just just I, I just played video games because I had n nothing else better to do uh, when I was a teenager. And nowadays, I don't really play video games that much. I might turn on one in like, play, play one game of something in, in like a month and then just don't play anything else. It's just kind of like this. It doesn't really exist in my life anymore. But, you know, I'm not against against video games. I'm not against, as I said, those movies, TV shows, whatever. But just, you know... If we're talking about video games specifically, you know video games, if you have an addiction to it or you just use it as something to escape the problems, video games are probably the most seductive here because, and pornography, uh, sorry, because, you know, 
in a video game, especially if you're a guy, we always aim, you know, to kind of reach some goal, to work towards something and then achieve it. I think that is like a purpose of a man. And video games kind of, you know, you do this objective, you do this objective, you shoot this alien, you shoot the zombie, you level up, you go another round and all of this, you know, these little kind of micro, how do you say, micro achievements, it kind of gives you this false sense of progression. That's why, you know, video games are kind of empty because when you play them, if you're like really addicted to it and you're esca escaping problems, you know, it kind of gives you this false idea of fixing a problem because, oh, you do this, okay, you succeed, you level up and it's kind of gives you this false sense of progression. But once you're done with the video game, once you shut it down, it just, the reality of your life kicks in and you're, oh, I'm still in the same place, you know? You completed that game, you played it for eight hours, you win, you see those credits roll, you turn off the game and I'm still in the same place. I'm still at my computer chair. I didn't get anywhere, you know? And if you play video games repeatedly, repeatedly, it kind of messes with your brain because then you just, you can't really look at life the same way. You know, there's no instant life and work and goals and achievements in, in, in real world. They don't work like achievements in a video game, you know, no flashing lights or flashing achievement cards are going to show up when you take a cold shower. No, it's going to be, it's going to be painful, uncomfortable, but of course, once you get through it, it gives you that long-term satisfaction, just like, you know, sitting down for, for that one hour every day to work on that, or, or let's say, to write a book or to work on a video if you just set it out to do it's uncomfortable maybe you won't like the, the whole process of it but then you get that long-term satisfaction and from video games it's just short term like in that moment i guess the same could be with movies but movies are just kind of an observer i guess the other thing would be just you know that pornography and masturbation you know it gives you that sense that you're oh you're having sex you're fulfilling your sexual sexual purpose as a man, you know, to reproduce your brain things that way. You're having sex with all of these women. You're giving children to all of them, essentially. That's like the idea here. But in reality, once you're done, once you turn off that, the hub, you're just, you're just here. Nothing kind of moved forward. So we have to escape escapism, essentially, because we as men have to learn to move forward and to exist in this real world. We have to achieve real goals and better ourselves, level up ourselves instead of just doing this in video games. Again, you know, playing a video game, let's say for one hour a day or as something, well, let's say as an example. Now I have ever, for, for like half a year now, I think I, I created a creative schedule for every single like hour of my day. And I, I, I try to follow it as strictly as possible. And uh, it's good when you, let's say I have work for one hour, let's say I'm making a video. I put that for two hours, but let, let's say two hours making a video, uh, <laughs> making a video, yeah. Then we have the break. And during the break, you can do whatever you want. You can, how I do, I just watch House, uh, the TV show. If you guys know about it, it's my favorite TV show. And I'm, I'm kind of a simple guy who just rewatches stuff. I kind of don't like experiencing the things new, which is kind of rigid, but that's besides the point. So I watch House and then I have another hour of work. I do that. Then lunch, you know, I kind of have these schedules throughout the day. And I think that following this schedule and doing the leisure activities when it's time to do leisure activities and working when it's time to work, this creates that balance. And this is how you escape that escapism, you know. Of course, it's always going to be there. You're always will, will probably want, unless you're kind of in this deep 
work focus mode and you're kind of in the moment when let's say I'm talking to a camera, you know, this is kind of engaging for me. I really like this, but there are some parts of my work and probably your work that you don't like to do. And those thoughts to escape are probably going to creep in. You're going to get that urge to kind of grab your phone, you know, scroll through Instagram. That is an escapism activity, but it's important to kind of schedule it in and just to have that leisure time because it's impossible to always keep working. You know, so that's that's kind of the idea with this video and the message. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you probably can now with my recommendation, create that schedule, put in the work, put in the leisure time and try to schedule your days instead of just randomly indulging in those escapism activities. So hopefully you got that um, kind of. I don't know, advice from this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had, sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly self-improvement content. You can join Disciples of Life, which is my kind of our Discord community server. Uh, and it's a server about men improving each other's lives. It's mostly for NoFap right now, but there are diff other different channels like Jiu Jitsu, training, working, working out the same, but diet, philosophy, productivity, you know, all these different channels that we kind of discussing with each other and just helping each other out. So I really hope you can join that. And that is going to be in my Patreon in the description down below. You can also support me separately on PayPal. And I'm really grateful for that. And um, follow me on Instagram. The link is also going to be in the description down below. What else? I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching this video again and stay on your journey.